Yeah, I've um I've watched the run already. I have seen it. Um and I've talked about it with runners already as well. So there's some things that I already know about. Um it's a pretty weird run. Um which means that mistakes are like bound to happen. But also people can play better than they currently do is always going to be the case. Like with all the analyses, right? Um, there's always going to be something to pick apart. There's never, there's never a perfect run, right? There's always going to be something that someone can improve on. Um, and it's not meant to be, you know, putting someone on blast. It's just a lot of, uh, a lot of runs were already, a lot of runs can look really good. And they are really good, but there's always something to to see can be improved. Sometimes there's just straight up mistakes, but then there's sometimes uh, improvements that can be made. Mute this. Why does menu not make any sound? Oh, I muted the fucking tab, I don't remember. So, Tiger Village spawn. Uh, Diamond's Iron Pickaxe. So, no one knows what to do with diamonds. I really like a diamond sword because you get to kill blazers really quickly. Like if you get a, if you get a spawnerless situation or a double spawner or just an, like even at a regular spawner, if two packs of blazers spawn at the same time, you can't clear them fast enough. Well, not at the same time, but very quickly. You can't kill them fast enough for the room to be cleared up with a stone axe. So having a diamond sword is really good because you can clear out the room faster. Like, it doesn't seem important that you'd... um need to kill blazers very quickly since they spawn slowly but if they do spawn quickly then having a diamond sword is really good uh, people like making a diamond axe it's just odd it does the same damage uh as a stone axe it's just faster but only slightly faster um and breaking wood blocks isn't that important it's kind of important but it's not that important uh, wood blocks are nice because obviously one block equals four blocks. But even that only helps in a bad world, not a good world. Like a, a bad world needs blocks to bridge with. A good world need, doesn't need the blocks to bridge with. So a diamond axe can make a slow run better, but doesn't make a fast run faster generally. Like a, a perfect run. Um, and then obviously uh, most people eat, uh, most people make a shovel, a diamond shovel. If you get one diamond out of a shipwreck or something, because flint rates are annoying. Um, and that's basically it. In this run, he actually, he crafts his diamond stuff pretty early in the run. Generally, you should like kind of hold off at, at least a little bit. Actually, were there? Yeah, there's also four apples. Uh, tiger villagers do not have a lot of food. So these apples are actually pretty good because tiger villagers, you often get fucked on food. Dep like, especially if you don't go to many houses. In his case, their case, they didn't uh, go to many houses. They didn't get fuck all food. So the these four apples are, are lost. They're not that, you know, they're not that good for healing. Unless you make golden apples, but they're just food, right? Food is food. I don't expect everyone to get a saddle as well. It only makes bad wins. Bad runs better. So, six logs, that's nice. Saves on punching two, since he's already got a pickaxe. They've already got a pickaxe. Um... So that saves six seconds, and then there's another four logs that's saved on depending what type of axe you have. Um, potatoes, you can cook them at a, at a campfire, 
which is niche, but I don't expect them to do that. So, right off the bat, there's the diamond crafts, an axe and a shovel. Shovel is pretty standard. Axe is, I don't know, it's something to do with diamonds, I guess. I think a sword's just better, but sometimes an axe is good. They don't actually end up front-loading logs, um, which means that their intentions were not to get a whole lot of logs off the bat. They, would, they just wanted an axe. Uh, and yeah, in this situation, I mean, it wasn't important because there was enough obsidian that they could just complete the portal anyway. But this, uh, this, uh, crying obsidian could be broken 10 seconds faster if they had made a diamond pickaxe rather than a gold pickaxe, if there wasn't enough obsidian. But there's enough obsidian that the crying obsidian can be completely ignored. Fire charge. Need another way of lighting the second portal. Only one fire charge in that chest. Front loads the helmet, which is interesting. I think it completely makes sense. Like, people don't really do it. But I think it makes sense. Um... Spawning in a bastion and instantly dying is not epic. Uh, it's happened to me a lot, like twice or three times actually, um, this past week. I've spawned in a bastion and died instantly. Uh, so I actually don't mind the instant overworld gold helmet. Obviously helmet over boots because you can get iron boots or soul speed boots or that kind of thing. The alternative to crafting armor is just holding the gold, and if someone runs at you, you can uh, throw the gold rather than craft armor, but this is probably less stressful. I mean, it's literally just planning for, um, oh, there are dandelions, jeez. Yeah, just no food at all, not even dandelions, not the apples in the blacksmith, which is pretty... Uh, Risky. Also, this diamond shovel didn't turn into flint at all. It didn't it didn't break any gravel or anything. So the diamond shovel didn't do anything. This axe ends up being used on nether logs, but you don't make an axe for nether logs. You make an axe for overworld logs. Like, I, I think the diamond crafts were just kind of random. Um, they They weren't really thought about at all. They were just crafted. Diamond sword's better for combat. Axe is just worse than a sword. For combat. Uh, micro lenses finds a bastion. Gets a whole lot of logs for some reason. I don't know why. This is more logs than I get. <laughs> and I front load way too many logs. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know why you need 40 planks. When you don't even see something to bridge towards. But off we go. Um, another reason to make a diamond pickaxe is because in a bastion, all bastions, you mine a whole lot of gold blocks, and then most bastions, if not all of them, you break a whole lot of basalt as well. So it makes bastions faster as well, having a diamond pickaxe rather than an iron pickaxe. It feels a little weird, uh, crafting a diamond pickaxe when you've already got an iron one, but it ends up saving quite a bit of time. Uh, does someone want to do the math on... Um, how much time is saved on nine gold blocks? Iron pickaxe versus diamond pickaxe. If you mine nine gold blocks or eleven gold blocks, I imagine it's like a second or two. I don't want to do it. I'm reacting. So eleven gold blocks. 
pretty standard. 1.3 seconds. Is that including, um... Including the thing? I guess it doesn't really matter. Um, and then there's breaking basalt blocks as well. It's involved. Or netherrack. So here's some netherrack being broken. And then there's some basalt down here that gets broken. And then at the spawner, generally you break things as well. So diamond pickaxe saves quite a lot of time over the run. Um, it's not totally known who came up with this route. Um, some people call it the Dowski route. Uh, people say it's a Hamazon route as well. Hamazon made a route where you start from the middle and you dig a tunnel um, to this area. like Or just build a bridge over to that area. Nowadays people just make the pit there without the tunnel, without the bridge. Dowski does it a lot. I think Dowski really popularized this route. Standard stuff. Got obsidian and everything from the uh, from the chest, so you just hug the pigs until you get your trades. Missed a couple of seconds on trading, accidentally picking up the gold. You've got all your pearls. You leave all kinds of string, all kinds of everything. Gets another pearl trade. Yeah, that's another one. Didn't get armor um, out of the chest. There was actually a lot of armor in the chest. He did throw out fire charges. Do we know th their pronouns, Sharpie? Um, yeah, they, there was a lot of armor left in the chest. Armor is like basically food, right? Um... Like, armor is super underrated at the moment. Um, damage you don't take is damage you don't have to heal with food. Especially with a situation of food, right? Uh, Dylan crafts iron chest plates um, because armor is good. Kills a hoglin that's luckily in this little pit. That's <laughs> not usual. It was very helpful. And this is probably enough food for the rest of the run. Um, should the fortress be accessible. So more micro lensing. Uh, so we've got like 100 basically and 200. So there's like two or three bastions. Anywhere between two and three bastions. Because the uh, route has already been done, there's probably a whole bunch of items on the ground, so I'd say there's two bastions in loaded chunks right now. Uh, the bastion RNG was just adequate. This, um, this run, uh, I mean, that, that route is super fast. The trading was kind of slow because there weren't many piglins. You can usually get uh, more piglins than that with the route. So a little unlucky on the pigs. Gets the uh, trades adequately fast. Lucky on the obsidian, but honestly, we just uh, we always want obsidian in the chest and basically reset if there's no obsidian because it's your bastion is going to be so slow if you don't get a whole bunch of obsidian out of the chest. So for a world record run, if you don't get obsidian in a bastion chest, you need to get really lucky or you're just kind of fucked. It's going to be too slow. Um, but yeah, entering the nether really fast was obviously really good. So this is like a five minute bastion exit. I don't know what that pearl accomplishes with this amount of food. That pearl's fine. But it ends up going into the lava, which ends up costing an extra pearl. So that one pearl cost food and a pearl, and then it costs an extra pearl or two to get back to the fortress. So, unfortunate uh, pearl placement. And this ends up in the lava as well, doesn't it? Yeah. So two really bad pearls. 
Costs a lot of time, costs a lot of food. With only three cooked pork chops, like, if you're, if you're careful, it'll be enough for the rest of the run, but... This is where splits get awkward. It's like a six minute, well, it's like a high five fortress entry, but where are the spawners? So here, there's standing around, you can already see the exteriors here. I don't, I was so confused why they were standing around here. You can see the exteriors here. So there's just kind of a whole lot of standing around and then two pearls are thrown to get to the fortress, but not to get to the spawners, which is the important part, right? You want to get to the spawner ASAP chooses to go through the hallways rather than um around the nether rack like you can you could get up on here and run straight to the exterior that's right there but for some reason chooses to go in the hallways which is just slower because you're forced to take corners that are not otherwise there if you're not inside the hallways uh so this is just like weird so there's just a whole lot of time lost here. What's up, Brent? And now we're finally here at the exterior. So what's the 6.45? So here, you can see the exterior. You can throw a pearl there, you'd be there in two seconds. So that 15 seconds lost, just to nothing. Oh, even longer than that, actually. 25 seconds. Am I doing that right? 20 to 45, yeah. Just to nothing. Like... It's all just pretty standard. Look around for spawners. It's underground, unfortunately. I don't know why you'd go up. Spawners don't generate above. This is good though. Blocking off the weather skeleton with gravel. And blazers. One, two. Starts crafting items. This is kind of the best place to do it, other than inside the end. But in the end is a little risky, a little scary. Three, four, five out of five. And six for six. One and sixty-four, isn't it? Or is it the one hundred and twenty-eight? Which one is it? So out again. One hundred and twenty-eight. And um, pearling back to early coordinates is fine. You, like, you should send um, high coordinates as long as they're in the ring. You should send high coordinates. But the terrain was so open and free that throwing a pearl back um, towards the inner uh, area of the ring was a good play. Like, if you've got fucking mountains around, or if you're, like, in a, a super buried fortress, or that kind of shit, um, then trying to get back to the inner part of the ring is a waste of time. You should just build the portal. Um, but this pearl took a very small amount of time um, for a, a percentage increase of a better blind. The closer you are to the inner um part of the ring is a higher chance of uh better blind but obviously you can get good blind anywhere you can be on a very like outside of the ring right and get god blind it's just that it's it's more likely on the inside of the ring than the outside of the ring so in this case good terrain um it's fine to go in but a lot of the time you don't have good terrain And here we go. 
should be in the portal. <laughs> 822. And we're not in the portal. Because fire charges were thrown away. Um, so off we go. Drag crafters be like. See, you could just use the book. You could just click the arrow and then click the ingot, but there's like three seconds wasted to drag crafting. A bed could be used, yeah. A bed could be used to light the portal. The uh, ghast could have put out the portal, um, but got kind of fortunate on that. Throw his eye with a whole lot of trees around, I think I remember. Look, uh, yeah, like, if it, if it went in this tree, that would have taken a really fucking long time to get the eye out of there, but it luckily didn't go into the tree. He looks straight down to uh, see which way the eye goes. Um, because if you just kind of throw it, sometimes you have to, like, look around and see where the eye goes. If you look straight down, you can see which way the eye flies. Uh, it's worth it to only make six or seven eyes. Um, because sometimes it's going to be a 10 eye and you get to have a whole lot more pearls, you know. And I think I remember it, like, this is like less than, god, do we want to do the fucking math on this? Where were you standing? So it's going on the Z, so that's on the X, so like 11, 18. Where is the second eye thrown? So like, 10 blocks? <laughs> uh, yeah, maybe a little over like 10, 11 blocks. You're meant to do 17 and a half blocks. Obviously it's a bit hard when it's diagonal, but you could also just place blocks. And that would be four sprint. Like it's, uh, you want to do about four sprint jumps, just over four sprint jumps. Um, which is 17.5 blocks to do this uh, method of seeing how far the stronghold is. Um, if they just threw one eye and, you know, ran and then eventually throw a second eye, they'd probably have to go back, which is why uh, all top runners now check stronghold distance in case you get absolute god blind like this. So moved like 10, 11, 12 blocks, which is not enough. But still got a 10 angle change, which is just ridiculous. If you did it properly, a 10 angle change would mean 100 blocks. Um, so it's less than 100 blocks away. <laughs> Ace look. Less than 100 block blind. I'm pretty sure. No, not streamed offline. Um, no food, so sheep honestly makes sense. People, someone was ragging on them for getting sheep. The sheep isn't for wool, it's for food, obviously. Um. <laughs> this moved like 50 blocks and it's just snapped. No water bucket, so digging down at 5-4. Gold pick, very pog. Yeah, the uh, <laughs> 9 minute blind. Is it? No, it's 8 minute blind. Less than 100 block blind distance. And then the stronghold is literally just a straight line middle. Going middle was the right move, but there was literally no nav involved in this run at all. Just like the last world record. Literally no nav. It's just a straight line. Uh, so that's... You know, either you could uh, be good at stronghold nav, or you could just have a straight line. <laughs> it's always a shame, right? You can be really good at something, or you could just get lucky. That's how this game usually works. 
Uh, there were trees, Carl. Um, the air was more open in the middle of the lake as opposed to where the trees were. But either he went right or left. He went right where there was air, where he could have went left where there were trees. Towers, very good. There's like a two minute end fight, I think. Yeah, be well. Oh, uh, Carl, he fucked up majorly on the mechanics. Like, he completely fucked it up. Um, the idea was that you, you know, spam place the blocks to stand in the middle of the lake. Uh, but he missed all of his block placements and used soul sand and shit. The idea was there, the execution was completely off, but the idea was correct. And it's a free, free height. Free easy dragon. Four biddable, and that's the last bit. Easy clap. Um, I think I kind of covered everything as it happened. Yeah, Carl, it's situational, but it's it's usually pretty consistent, especially with six beds. Yeah, I, I covered all of the major mistakes as they happened. Um, basically there's a lot of time lost from the fortress and the portal alone, like including the throwing of the fire charges, there's 30 to 40 seconds lost just in the fortress to, uh, fortress to nether exit alone. Um, the bastion was, I don't know, safe for another pearl trade. That you didn't need. Um, the pearls were bad to the fortress. There was just like all kinds of time just randomly lost. The uh, the diamond crafts was just kind of random. Um, yeah, this this run was hard carried by a, a one minute nether entry because there's all kinds of random time loss. Um, I don't think that you could get a substantially better time. You could probably save a minute on this. I think you could, you could probably save a minute on this time, but I don't think this is subtenable without some scouting shit. But yeah, hard carried by the early nether entry. Like literally a one minute nether entry and then six out of six with fast blazers. Um, is what hard carried this run. Like the two liter name world record was um not that uh not not particularly lucky. Obviously the blind was good and uh the the seed was good, but the blazers were just good enough. Yeah, and the blind was less than a hundred blocks. There was a lot in this run that just hard carried. Um, yeah, one ten nether entry, six out of six, um, less than a hundred block blind, hard carried this run. There's a lot of random time loss from start to finish, really. Um, so not even all of it was nerves, you know, there, there, there wasn't a lot of, um, opportunity for nerves through a lot of this run. So it's a it's a bit of a shame, but world record. It's just a little longer, Carl. Um, yeah.